Hi guys, this is Brian Bennett, Laptop Magazine. And here we have the BlackBerry Bold 9900, which we did a hands-on video before of, but we're gonna dive deep and get a feel for what uh, BlackBerry 7 uh, is all about. So how does it work and what's the difference between BlackBerry 6? Absolutely, so one of the key features uh, or key themes behind BlackBerry 7 is around performance and usability. This is a high performance device. The software is all based on high performance. Uh, a key ingredient to that is something we call liquid graphics. Liquid graphics is essentially BlackBerry 7's new software algor algorithms taking advantage of the dedicated graphics processor unit on this particular device. Um, it allows us to deliver the fastest, smoothest, most fluid BlackBerry experience to date. And you'll actually see that in the in the device about the smooth transitions. You can see how smooth the transitions are as I as I pan between the different panels. Right, right. Very fluid animations, very smooth. And notice besides just the responsiveness, you'll see how closely the UI tracks with my finger. As cool. I swipe to the left, as I swipe to the right, the UI moves along with my finger. Right, and that's taken advantage of the uh, was it 1.2 gigahertz processor? Well, and the GPU, the dedicated GPU. And the GPU. GPU. Do you know what advantage. GPU that is? Uh, uh, we, we're not don't able to comment at okay. this point in time on our on our vendors. Okay, so okay. what what's the other? Uh, couple so second, other we made uh, a significant improvement on our browser. So if I bring up our browser here and load a web page, the BlackBerry 7 browser um, is our fastest browser, uh, BlackBerry browser to date. It's very high fidelity. Um, you'll see page load times are a lot faster now on this particular browser. Um, the panning and zooming around the device is seamless. Um, again, liquid graphics at play here uh, because it's, it's allowing those smooth transitions, smooth movement around the device. So you can see how I pan through the page and scroll up and down. You'll see it's, it's seamless, right? I can pinch the zoom. Again, crack into my fingers. Very fluid, very fluid browser. Um, and again, you know, minimize checkerboxing. You know, as I scroll through the page, Right, it's a pretty rich page. This is a very rich page. Right. Right. You can so see. So basically, and, and there's no delay. There's no lag. Correct. Yep. Exactly. Right. Very responsive browser. Cool. And it, and now it supports uh, multi-touch and all these kind of. Well, it exactly. actually did well, before. They did, but right? right now, it's a, it's a lot more seamless now. Right. Um, uh, and you know the, the rendering engine behind this uh, browser is the same one that's on Playbook. Um, you know that that, that that gets a lot of uh, you know uh, outstanding reviews in the marketplace today. Uh -huh. um, the same for this particular browser. As well. Cool. All right. So what's okay. another? Uh, so um, besides the performance and usability, I think in BlackBerry 7, another key area is the new apps and services that are bundled out of the box on this particular device. The first is the Documents to Go uh, product productivity suite. This is an uncompromised productivity suite. Um, what we've right. done with Docsico this time is we've actually bundled in all the premium features right out of the box. Okay. So if I bring up uh, Docsico over here, you can see the first thing is that the uh, the panes are are laid out and operate similar to the way the home screen is. I can swipe between panes here, so you can see I have the recent files pane. Uh, I have my favorite files that I've got over here, and in this case, you know, very similar to the way the home screen works. I can swipe between the two. Um, now, some of the other advanced features that are included in Docs to Go from the premium premium version are it's got native PDF built into the built into the device, native PDF viewer. Right. For example, you know, let's say I open up this PDF file here, it opens it up in the native PDF view reader, and boom, I can swipe through pages to see my PDF file. I can use the same pinch to zoom to zoom in on the content. Right. Right. And the other advantage, uh, the other feature that's included in here um, is is edit mode. You can actually edit the files right on the fly on your device. Right. So let's say there's a particular cell in in uh, in, uh, in Excel, I can go ahead and edit mode, and I can change you know data in the uh, right here. Bam! I can change the content right here. So let's say I change. Cool. It to and that's something that usually you have to pay for extra. Correct. Yep. Now it's out of the gates, right out of the box, built into the device. So again, cool. premium edition of documents to go. Cool. Another, and then there's another, another feature. I, I think you said it was like the music Correct. Uh, capability. Correct. So let me get to that now. Next, um, we've got music store on this device on BlackBerry 7, sorry, is right here. It loads up, uh, loading up music store over here. So again, um, you know, partnered up with Amazon to right. include this uh, music store over here. Again, you can search, you can preview songs, you can download songs, you can buy them. And again, you know, you can see it also offers some free songs of the day. Um, you know, again, the panes are, again, uh, you know, very similar to the way the home screen is designed. So right. You can see the top albums that are offered to you, new songs, new albums. I can browse by genre, song, album, what have you. So in this 
case, for example, just to show you a little demo, let's say, for example, tomorrow evening, Paul Wilkins full showing up. So let's do a little search on his stuff. Okay. So here we go. Putting in Paul Wilkins Oops, if I can spell. Wilkins <laughs> There we go. I'll do a search on Paul Wilkins a list of songs that showing up. I can preview a song, for example, from him. Cool. There you go, the song's previewing. Right? When I'm done, I can just pause it. I can actually buy the song and download it. And here's the beauty. The music store is integrated with our BlackBerry music experience. Okay. So once a song is downloaded, it's there on all my music content. I can right. go back to my music, um, music app here. And whatever songs I've downloaded are now part of my list, and I can play them. They're DRM free as well. Right. I so can, can I can transfer them, the music to my uh, my I'm other MP3 player or in my car if I have an integrated hard drive or what have you. Okay. Right. So that's the beauty there. The last feature I want to show you for BlackBerry 7 is uh, the new and improved Universal Search. Right. Okay. So the Universal Search that we have now is a much more exhaustive search. Um, it's much more deeply integrated with our core apps, with our all the content on your smartphone, be it contacts or documents or files. But we've even taken it a step further. It's it's further out to the internet as well. So right. if something can't be found on your device, you'll go and look for it on the internet as well. Okay. So in this case, for example, let me just look for a file here, marketing, just to show the deep integration. Let's say I'm looking for an Excel file that I have on the device. Marketing file. Oops, again, I can't spell very well. Apologize for that. So there you go. The search results show that under documents or something, there's that marketing Excel file that I'm looking for. I open it up and boom right away it opens up this file that I was looking for again I can you know zoom out pan around you know again very tight integration with the documents right. now we've also added above and beyond that voice ad voice activated capabilities to universal search okay so let's see if I can demo the exact same look for the same file but this time I'll do it using voice so click on the search icon in the corner you'll see a little microphone icon shows up now this means I'm ready to do a voice activation search so let's okay. see if I can do this with the noise I'm just gonna kind of lean in over here so I can get to it and click on this here Oops. hold on a second there you go marketing there you go same file is found same use case open up the file and boom away you go so, so that's universal and, and just to clarify sure. uh, blackberry 7 is only going to be available on these new current or these uh you know expected models to be coming out soon that's correct it won't be uh available on the current models that are out that's correct as i highlighted earlier liquid graphics is a key feature on this that takes advantage of a dedicated graphics processor so that's actually what's required over there to allow you to run the uh, liquid, liquid, gra liquid graphics performance um, you know, feature on this device all right great well i appreciate the demo so You're most welcome there you have it the basic features and a deep dive into what the capabilities of BlackBerry 7 are.